we're going to look at how to download ebooks from the Richland County Public Library on the iPhone. There is a new app that was just released this month. It's December 2010. And first thing I would do is go to the Apple App Store on my iPhone just like I would download any other app. And I would search for the Overdrive Media Console. And here I see Overdrive Media Console. This is the new version 2.0 and I would download it. It's free and click free and then it tells me I can click install and it's going to ask me for my um, my password in order to download and then it will begin downloading the app. So I now have the Overdrive Media Console version 2 application downloaded on my iPhone. Here it is. It just says Overdrive. I'm going to click on it. Um, I'm gonna, when it initially pulls up, you should see this Welcome to Overdrive audio file that can be downloaded and you'll just hear the welcome. Um, the first time you download the Overdrive app, it will ask you to authorize your um, your iPhone. There's also an app for Android and you would authorize it with your email address and password for your Adobe account. If you don't have an Adobe account, you would need to get one at adobe.com. And when I'm ready to, when I've got everything authorized and I'm ready to get books, I can use the new get books function up here in the top right and I can click on add a website and I can search for my library by name, city, or postal code. And I'm just going to search my zip code, Richland County Public Library. I'm at the main location, and I'm going to put in 29201 and click Go. And here I see a lot of different options that have popped up. I see uh, the Wheatley branch which is a branch nearby, any Richland County library location would do. We all have access to the Overdrive eBooks, and so I'm just going to click Wheatley. I actually don't see the main library on here right now, but um, any, any Richland County location will work. And here's Richland County Public Library, audiobooks and eBooks. I can download them both, and I'm just going to click on that. And that's going to direct me to the mobile version of the Overdrive digital media catalog and you can browse, um, access your account. Um, here are some featured EPUB books here in the top and then featured MP3 audiobooks. Those are all things that you can download wirelessly with this new application. And let's say I wanted to download Kissing Santa Claus. I'll click on that title. I see information about the file and uh, it says add to cart so that means it's available if someone else had it in use I, it would say place a hold so this is available I'll click add to cart tells me more information about it I can either continue browsing it'll stay in my cart for 30 minutes or I'm going to go ahead and proceed to checkout and you can log in just with your library card number that's the barcode number um, on the back of your library card and then enter your PIN which is the last four digits of your phone number and then you can log in. Once you're logged in it will ask you to confirm your checkout and now Kissing Santa Claus is checked out to me and I can go ahead and download this EPUB ebook. Once I click download, it automatically pops up in the Overdrive Media Console. And uh, oh, now here it's asking me to um, register my device with Adobe. I'd already done that once, but now I am being asked to do it again. So I will just click sign in. And I'm going to click authorize with Adobe ID. And I'm going to enter my Adobe ID and password. Now that I'm logged in with my Adobe ID and password, 
I go back to the mobile version of the um, digital media catalog, RCPL's um, digital media catalog at myrcpl.lib.overdrive.com. You can also use the get books function that we use to get there. And here I am in my cart and I checked out Kissing Santa Claus. I click download. And the file should automatically begin downloading in the Overdrive Media Console. Once the ebook finished downloading or processing in the Overdrive Media Console, here is Kissing Santa Claus, the ebook. I can just click on it. it. Takes it just a moment to load. And here is the cover of Kissing Santa Claus. And to turn pages, I can just swipe, just like you would for other iPhone functions. And uh, I actually had adjusted my text earlier um, to make it larger. You can change your text size. There's um, a small and a large text size. Here's the first page of the first chapter. I just click on the little A's and I choose whether I want the smaller or the larger. And there's the smaller text. If I wanted to bookmark this page, I could click on the little bookmark in the upper right hand corner. I could always go pull up my table of contents here and um, go directly to a specific chapter or location. And that's how you get downloadable ebooks on your iPhone for free. And again, there's an application available for the Android as well.